ITV. Come on in. Cargo hold. Our senses are picking up movement somewhere in the hold. That cargo needs to be secured. Copy that, Captain. One of the bigger units must have slipped out of position. Hear that, Ramirez? You miss one. Let's see if the loading claw sensors can pick up anything still moving around up there. Come on. Problem with the claw, Captain, but we're on it. Servo units damaged. That's the second one this month. I'll switch it out. Um, Ramirez, you better hurry. It's still tracking movement. And we're the only things moving. Shut it down! The fuel cell is cracked! If it leaks, this whole ship becomes a giant bomb! Are you sure you want to be up here? Annual maintenance. Very important. Like brushing your teeth. I'm just having a little trouble adjusting to being weightless. Whoa! It was the same for me when I started. You get used to it. And I'm starting to feel queasy. Don't throw up in zero gravity. That's something else I learned when I first got up here. Oh. Mayday! Mayday! We're abandoning ship, but it's out of control and could crash anywhere. We read you, Cargo Zeppelin Baras. This is International Rescue. Get your crew out. We'll make sure the ship doesn't cause any trouble on the ground. Thunderbird 5 to Tracy Island. We have a situation. What do we got, John? A cargo carrier experienced a massive systems failure. The crew are fine. They evacuated over Lake Nakuset. But the ship is on a crash course for Anderbad City. I'm sending you the coordinates for the ship's projected flight path. Alan and Gordon are still in a supply run, but we're on our way. Think you two can handle it? For the moment, but that could change. I'll be standing by if you need me. See you in the sky.
there, Thunderbird 2. John, now would be a good time to fill me in on any nasty surprises. Funny you should say that. The ship's losing altitude faster than my projections, but why? It looks like the liquid hydrogen fuel cells have cracked open. And I'm guessing that's bad? The, the tanks keep the fuel isolated, but if an electrical for fire starts on impact, you'll get what we scientists call a very big kaboom, which is also what my insights for feel like. What's the time frame? J John says I'll feel better once I get used to zero gravity. I think he means before the Zeppelin crashes. Oh, right. For factoring in altitude, wind speed, ship weight, adjusting for cargo, and letting X equal the rate of fuel loss, we get... Oh my! Scott, you're gonna need to move fast. FAB, and brains, that means feel a lot better. I'll attach cables and divert the ship away from the city. Thunderbird 2 can do the heavy lifting when Virgil gets here. Call up a schematic. That's weird. File not found. Oh, sorry. Your d databases are offline because I started a systems check. How long to bring them back online? We don't have a lot of time here, Brains. It's okay. I backed everything up onto Max. He can stream the database to your screen. That a boy, Max. The whole top section is demagnetized. Thunderbird 2 can nudge the ship and change course that way. I would strongly caution against that. Those leaking fuel cells could easily rupture. Kaboom, got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to get on board. Maybe I can regain some control of this thing. Scott, the cockpit section isn't demagnetized. Should be able to attach a zipline to it. Slave to my controls. I'll keep her steady for you. Whew. I'm in. All systems critical. We're on auxiliary power with almost no altitude control or steering. I can't risk landing with that fuel leak. I'm gonna point her down and bail out. She'll crash safely into the lake before reaching the city. Course set. Ready to bail out. Hello? Anyone there? We're stuck. We can't get out. Trapped. Hello? Can you hear me? John, did you get that? I thought everyone was off this ship. I thought so too. Hold on. Can Max check the crew manifest against the evacuee headcount? Of course. On screen, Max. <laughs> The numbers don't match. They messed up their count. Two crew members are missing. Got them. They're in the cargo hold. Okay, I'll get the crew and evac them out with me. We have a new problem. I've pulled out of the crash course, but I'm struggling to maintain altitude. Come in, cargo crew. This is international rescue. Do you read me? Over. Yes, we read you. Barely. We're hiding in the back of the hold. Our loading claws motion trackers have malfunctioned. It locks in on anything that moves. Yeah, I got a taste of that. Hold on tight, we'll get you out. 
Guys, I need to keep this crate in the air long enough for us to find a way past that loading claw. Looks like we'll need that backup, KO. FAB, I've been monitoring your comms and I've got Shadow prepped and ready to go. We're plotting your new trajectory. Do we have time to get the crew out before we get to the city? Negative. You're gonna have to fly over the city and bring it down in the open country on the other side. We'll never make it. We're still losing height. If you offload 90% of the fuel, there's a ch chance you'll be light enough to get over the city. Okay, I'll keep flying. Virgil, you start pumping out that fuel. FAB. What are you guys doing in there? Oh, you know, just plain hide and seek with a giant bone crushing claw. No big deal. Well, hang in there. Help's on its way. Hey, Ramirez? Yeah, Dixon? How does a giant mechanical loading claw take its tea? I don't know. How? With a pinch of sugar? That's the worst joke I've ever heard. Got any more? The ship is too unstable for me to attach the fuel line. Can you hold it steady for me, Scott? Not really. How do you feel about another trip outside? I don't have much choice, do I? Scott. Now, you'll see a valve above the coupling. You need to turn that clockwise till it clicks. Activating pump. Everything okay, Scott? Yep, just enjoying the view. The crew are in the cargo hold on the upper deck, but we're running out of time. Don't worry, I'll get him out. Yeah. Why would I worry? I'm pumping fuel as fast as I can. All the dials are in the red. Any more and I'll rupture the line. I've alerted the Anderbad City's air traffic control. There's nothing else in the sky. You have a clear run. The fuel dump's working. We're gaining altitude. But I don't know if we'll get high enough. I'm recalculating your flight trajectory over the city, but based on the rate of the fuel loss. Oh, it's going to be tight. Tight, but we should make it tight? Or John's spacesuit tight? I don't th think I know how to answer that question in a way that is reassuring. Spacesuit tight, okay. Come on! Climb! International rescue. Time to go. Follow me. You're kidding, right? No, I'm pretty serious. We can't jump and flip around like you just did. I try to work out, but come on. He's right. We'll get picked off in seconds. I have an idea. I'll distract the claw so you can make a run for it. Be ready. <laughs> Run.
an. be able to take on much more fuel. Take every last drop you can, Virgil. I'm only just holding this altitude. Kale, how's that evac going? Working on it. Run! There on the left. Where does that lead? Top of the ship. Emergency exit. This definitely qualifies as an emergency. Go! Virgil! They're heading out through the emergency exit at the top of the ship! FAB. But that's it for the fuel dump. I'm out of space. be enough. You think or you know? I think I know. Just a few more seconds, Scott. You're nearly clear. <laughs> as soon as we're over those last buildings, this ship is going down. K.O., you need to get out. <laughs> Brilliant idea, Scott. Thanks for the suggestion. Brains, you managed to stay the right way up. I did. Doing all those c calculations made me forget about my space sickness. Oh no, it's b back. I need something to distract me again. Qu quickly, ask me my favorite 14 asteroids. Thank you, International Rescue. You saved our lives. I still can't believe you took on that claw. Nice work, everyone. We limited the damage at Anderbad City to one billboard. And I even completed Thunderbird 5's maintenance. Everything's running p perfectly. <laughs> Sounds like you've developed a real taste for space. Uh, well, once a year's quite enough, thank you. Hey, guys. How was the supply run? Routine. But wait till you see what me and Alan picked up at an antique store on the way back. Remember these? It's the same game John used to play all the time. You grab prizes with the claw. Who wants to go first? K.O.? <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> Me too. Oh, come on. Who doesn't love the claw? It's all yours, boys. What'd I say? We should have bought some prizes. Oh, claw machine needs prizes. No wonder they didn't want to play. Oh. 